Hemostasis comes from Greek. It consists of heme meaning blood and stasis, which means to halt or to stop. So together they mean to stop the bleeding. Hemostasis is a well-orchestrated, precise process involving platelets, clotting factors, and endothelium. It occurs at the site of injury and ends up in the formation of a blood clot to prevent the extent of bleeding. So the major idea here is that first when an injury happens, the first reaction is vasoconstriction to narrow the lumen of the blood vessel so that less blood flow would come to the site of injury and therefore we would have less bleeding. Then what happens is that the platelets get activated, they increase their surface area and they just aggregate at the side of the injury in order to form a plug so as to block the way of bleeding so as to stop the bleeding and that would be our second step or primary hemostasis the formation of a platelet plug but then this is not enough because these platelets are not solid enough and we have to do something else. What happens is that we need fibrin strands so as to somehow saw these platelets together, just uh, go around them and uh, adhere all these components together. But the problem is that we don't have circulating fibrin in the blood. Instead, we have fibrinogen, which is a precursor of fibrin. So fibrinogen has to be converted into fibrin first, and then fibrin monomers have to come together so as to form a polymerized fibrin strand, and then fibrin strand can attach to the platelets and form fibrin meshwork, and that would be secondary hemostasis practically. And eventually, these fibrin strands and the aggregation of platelets would contract so as to even furthermore um, consolidate the plug that we already have there. And of course, in the fourth step, one more thing that we do is to limit the coagulation and to limit the clot formation so that we wouldn't have, we wouldn't stop the blood and we wouldn't stop the blood flow by forming too big of a clot. So this was just a short video, an overview of hemostasis. In order to learn about it in more details and more thoroughly, click right up here to watch my longer video on hemostasis. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want, you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to take a look at synapse.org.